To my channel my name is Prue or Prue LaRue and today I am doing another collab this is a face-off collab with the amazing Debbie from Vinyl Beauty this is someone that I know from Annette's makeup corner and let's just take a minute for Annette she just hit 10k Annette at Annette's makeup corner is just such an amazing creator and I mean I don't think I'd still be making videos if it wasn't for her so I'm just so grateful that I can call her a friend and I absolutely love her content and it's absolutely amazing that she made 10k. I'm so proud of her and I'm so excited for her to see what comes in the future. Anyway, Vinyl Beauty is someone that I saw her shout out ages ago and she had done a collection video showing, sorry, that's her right now. <laughs> that is a, a collection video showing all of the palettes and the collections that she had. I have been just in the mood to do a few more collabs and I thought it'd be really fun to reach out to Debbie and see if she had a really old palette that I have. That's the Urban Decay Spectrum. She did. So we're gonna do a face-off collab with this palette. This is a palette that my sister bought for me because she knew I really loved colorful makeup and she bought me the craziest palette they had. And the shades that we have, we've already done the random orb generator and they are here. I don't think you can still buy this palette again, so I'll just list it in the description bar what shades we are using. And if I remember, I'll say what they are. But I'm going to start this bare face. And I even have tape. <laughs> I, I thought it would be fun to give this a whirl today and see how I went to do a really messy look. Yes. Let's see where these shades take us. And I can't wait to see what Debbie creates. She sounds like she's really used this palette a lot, which, I mean, I can't say that I have. She warned me about the purple mats. And we, we got one. We got one of the purples. So it'll be fun. And she is from the UK. So the time zones are so much easier. And I absolutely love the UK. Let's see. I want to line it up kind of like that. I was starting to regret putting the tape on this early. Should I have waited? Did I need the tape? Let's find out. Tape is on. Let's prime my eyes. We're just going with the MAC Paint Pot in Soft Ochre today. An absolute classic. If you're on my channel, you know it's pretty rare that I, well, I never put tape on because I don't know, there's something about it, it's just, it's really bloody uncomfortable. One of the big things that I've stopped, I never wanted to use tape was like, well, I can do a neat line, but the truth is I can't. I don't know who I was lying to. Anyway, do make sure to go check out Vinyl Beauty. She is super lovely. Um, she does amazing colorful looks and her collection is insane. And uh, that's like one of the, <laughs> that's one of the main reasons I wanted to collab with her because I knew I could pull this palette out. <laughs> Get it? Also, obviously, I love her content. Do let um, do go check her out, subscribe, like, and all the good stuff. Leave a comment. It. Let's get cracking into what I create. Oh, I'm sorry if I keep touching the tape, but I just I really want to. And look, I'm really bad. At <laughs> this is the brush from the Spectrum. I'm still in the wrapping. Oh, it's cute. It's even got like a little thing. See? It even says Urban Decay Full Spectrum. Alright, this is a cute palette. I'm the worst at using brushes in palettes. I never pull them out, ever. So I'm going to go into C's. Should I show you the palette? This palette's just so like big to get out. C's. And it does have a mirror, but it's... Ugh. Look how dirty it is. I've never even opened it. I'm, I swear I didn't leave the mess there. I'm sorry, I'm talking too much. More shadow proof. So I'm going to put C's, which is this orange shade. And I'm just going to bring it up really high up here. And it's going to be like a midway. I don't know, it's going to be everywhere. And then going into Calavera, which is its friend there. This is going to go next to it. I'm using the same brush. I've just wiped it off. But my biggest thing with why I haven't really used these shadows is, well, because they're not very pigmented. They're not the easiest to use. And there are a lot of shimmers. Like a lot of shimmers. Pretty sure these are all shimmers. But I absolutely love the thought that my sister put into buying this palette. And I'm so excited to have a reason to pull it out today. You probably will see me using a lot more older palettes coming up. Just because I'm a bit, just because I'm a bit burnt out on buying all this 
buying so much new makeup and trying to get it up and it's it just takes so long to get here and I really want to spend some more time with my collection and just play with it more so let me know if you want to see more of a throwback series of eyeshadow palettes oh I can touch my nose today and then going into gossip so we got this whole like these three in a collection but the kick up in this is kind of insane as well it's amazing and this is going to go in my crease all right and then i'm just going to do a mini cut crease i'm going to try and make sure that that pink's still in it and just do it so i'm using the colourpop no filter one of the shades we got is a matte white it's a shade down here bump and I'm just going to layer that on the middle part, the beginning part. I feel like I need to split like the names of my eyes into like five different sections so that I'm I can name it correctly every time. And then going into sketch, which is a shade here, I'm gonna layer that the rest of it. It's quite a muted purple, so I thought it wouldn't be too overpowering. Alright, and then this is where I don't know if it's all going to go haywire. Alright, what I'm going to do... I didn't realise I'd used five shades already. I don't know. So I'm going with Platonic, which is our final shade. And while the tape's still down, I'm just going to give it a nice... Just to let me know where to build it. And it's just going to go in the outer corner like this. All right, let's pull off the tape and see where we're at right now. And then I'm gonna duck away and go off camera and do my face and then I'll be back. It gives such like a funny shape. Oh, I think I bought the mat, like the, I don't know. Interesting. All right, <laughs> I'm gonna go put makeup on the rest of my face and I'll be back in a minute. All right, I'm back with, uh, I've placed products on my face, except I saved one. If you watched my Blind Faith tag, you know I haven't tried Ofra highlighters before. So I thought I'd come back and do this for the camera. Glam Raider, which is an Australian like beauty bay, or, you know, they stock all the different brands. They had a sale, and Glazed Donut, which is one of the Nick Tutorials highlighters, was on Spesh. So I have my first Ofra highlighter. That's the worst thing about doing a tag like that, because I'm like, oh, I really, I really talked myself into that. And then I really want it. And I'm super curious if I'm about to have, like, a Nikki Tutorials moment. Right. Should be powdery. Can you even see that shit? Oh, okay. Wow. Damn. Did I go too crazy? Well, like, not crazy enough. I don't know. I can really see it, but I don't know if you can. The mysteries of filming <laughs> videos. Let's finish up. So I'm going to pull into Platonic, which is that shiny black shade. And this little fella is going to come... Mm, it's going to come all the way down. It's going to come meet my inner corner right over here. And then I feel like I'm going to pull C's, which is this orange shade here. I was going to use Gossip, but I don't know. And I'm going to mix it in with this black. The black travelled a bit. I was just going to clean blendy and try and blend it to oblivion. It kind of worked. Let's pick up some of that yellow and just try and blend you out. We don't want you here no more black. Alright, I think that's probably the best I'm going to be able to fix it. Kind of. And I'm not super mad at it. But we need to choose something for the inner corner. I think let's bring the yellow in. And then crossed from Colourpop. This is one of the ones I picked up the other day and I'm in love. Like I loved the Colourpop formula before, but I love it even more now. I didn't know that was a thing. Let's put my hair down because I just, like, I know I look better with my hair down, but it's not how I live my life. I live my life with my hair up. Okay, so where are we at? Mascara. I moved, I've been moving everything in my beauty room around. Or my guest room. So some things are just moved about. Oh, this is a question I have in general. So I actually filmed the makeup collection tag, which is Georgia Harris's tag, like a while ago. But 
part of it I was planning to film my collection but it was too messy so I never filmed it would you guys still like to see that tag I know that Georgia has gone off makeup and she's into fish now which is cool so just curious let me know if you still want to see that tag or if I should just do it like a show you my collection video because it's nearly my room is nearly clean again so close to being clean okay I don't think I'm done let's bring you in I tried to fix that bit I really did all right well thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for watching my video absolutely make sure to go check out vinyl beauty she is such an amazing creator I absolutely love seeing people who have been collecting makeup for years I love seeing them play with color and I think I think she's really inspiring anyway I hope you've enjoyed this look that I created today I absolutely appreciate it I've had some sleep <laughs> since my collab with Debbie no black um and the shades were all pre-chosen so there was no mistakes here today <laughs> so I hope you've enjoyed coming around for the this uh if you're from Vinyl Beauty's channel thank you so much for stopping by and if you're from my, from my channel, do make sure to go check out Vinyl Beauty's video. I can't wait to see what looks she's created with the same shades. I had so much fun pulling out the Urban Decay Spectrum. I don't know. I remember first using this palette and not enjoying it. Am I just like better at dealing with no pigment in shadows now? But I kind of really like the look I created today. I'm into it. Let me know what you think. Um, And yeah, make sure to go like and subscribe to Vinyl Beauty and I'd absolutely love it if you consider doing the same here. I absolutely appreciate it and adore you. Thank you so much. Mwah.